Hey yo, what is up guys? Loki Gaming here. I'm wearing a hat because I'm having a really bad hair day. But I'm wearing a hat and no, I'm not sponsored by Deadpool. It's just a coincidence. But uh, I'm gonna talk about Destiny 2 real quick. I know I already made a Destiny 2 rant, but I'm going on a rant even further. This is the what Destiny 1 got right and what Destiny 2 messed up. Like, things in Destiny 1 that were fine, perfectly fine, but they, Bungie had to go and change them in Destiny 2 and made them less appeal. Have, I can't speak today, but you get my point. It's just they messed it up in general. Let's first start off, let's first start off with a very simple one. Shaders. Now, shaders in Destiny 2 are one-time use only. Instead of what they used to have, which was you had a shader. Just a shader. You could put it on. My favorite was White Tiger or White whatever. It was a good-looking shader, and it doesn't matter what armor piece I put, that armor has the shader automatically because of the shader that's already applied. Now, let me go over one little thing about it. <laughs> apparently, oh, I'm sorry, not apparently, but in Destiny 2, they're one-time use. Like, come on. Am I, I, I think I speak for everyone in the Destiny community when they say, one-time use shaders, really? Really, Bungie, why is that a good idea? For example, I spent, in the faction rally, I just basically did that grinding glitch that pretty much everyone knows about, but I did that. And got all my packages, I got 600, got the entire armor set, and the entire weapon set for Future War Cult and New Monarchy. That's fine. But, I love the shader for New Monarchy, the New Monarchy Diamond. And I run out of it very quickly because I use a lot, I put it on a lot of armor pieces and a lot of weapons. <clears throat> I get it for weapons, but armor, they should have like Destiny 1, except for the weapons, you can add your own armor, and that is where that. One time use shaders would work. Let's say you want to have White Tiger on your actual armor set, but you want your weapons to have the new Monarchy Diamond or the monochrome skin, or not skin, but shader on. Then those like 60, like 20 to 25 shaders do come in handy because you can apply it to the weapon and the weapon only. But armor should be stayed the same. Armor should have stayed the same. And I'm trying to make my, my the point where armor, hold on, I have a paper, I will show you paper plate. I don't have paper, so I'm using a paper plate. But the weapons, should have the one-time use shader. I would find that very simple. But the armor has the Destiny 1 shaders. The ones where you just place it on and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry that, oh, I only have four, I can't have the entire armor set. That's stupid. Why? Why should you have you have to grind for these shaders just because it looks good on your character and then you find a better shader and then you, all that time you spent grinding for those shaders is wasted. <sighs> but that's all I'm going to say on the shader matter. Next, we're going to talk about raids and guided games. Now, raids. They're the perfect end game. One second, I'm going to fix the lighting. Oh, I just threw on the camera. Anyways, guided games. I have yet to complete a raid with guided games. And I find that dumb. 
Because every someone is like, you guys don't know what we're doing. When they're the ones who actually aren't don't know what they're doing. And they just leave. And then the entire team disbands and funny part about it is that no one can join after someone leaves. It's fixed. You can't do anything about it. And that is just it's not that great. And I'm very sorry about the lighting. I just have a lamp right now. I'm very sorry about that. It's just a lamp. It's not very bright. But guided games and the original raids were more hardcore. Like you had entire raid clans dedicated. You have entire clans dedicated just just raids. And since Age of Triumph came out. Those clans are amazing because guess what? You can get those amazing elemental exotics. Not really elemental exotics, but elemental primary weapons. And again, that is a very, very nice thing to have, an elemental primary. But now that that's gone forever in Destiny 2, let me talk about another thing that I hate about raids. Is that just the way raids are done now? Different stages with no checkpoints. Come on. As far as I know, there is no checkpoints, and I'm I know I'm probably wrong on that fact that there is no checkpoints, but I've yet to see someone in a raid chat with over a hundred players in it say I have, I have, let's say, callous checkpoint. Let's raid. No one has done that because guess what? There's probably, and I'm 95% sure there isn't a checkpoint system. Which is like my least favorite part about it because there's people in your raid team who can't, they can't be there the entire raid. For example, me, I have a curfew. Again, I live with my parents and I have a curfew. I must go to bed by nine o'clock. So, I have to stop raiding at nine o'clock. And now that the, um, now that the new raid has no checkpoints, it's not very fun. Has no check checkpoints. So what's the reason for, you know, kind of soloing a bit of it and then invite everybody later next day. And just, you know, go on and do other stuff. No, you have to. Because that's what people did. They just soloed like maybe one or two parts and get a checkpoint. Then message all their friends saying, hey, I have, I have this checkpoint in this raid. Let's raid. Now raids are fun. They're fun PvE based game modes. I myself, one of my, there's two that I love and the two that I actually know how to do. Like start to end, no funny business. It was the first one and the last one. Wrath of the Machine, it gave a nice refresher. It was a nice breath of fresh air when it came out. Because originally, I know, it's something, but we never had a fallen raid, so it was no. And the first raid, <sighs> the Vault of Glass. I remember me and my friends when we, Destiny just released, and we just, we grinded to get raid ready. And we did the raid, we spent four days on it, so we figured, figured it out. And that was fun. But now in the age of YouTube, everyone has to read just a raid guide. That's it. They just you wait an hour, and then the raid guide has already come out. That's just the problem with me. I prefer learning via experimentation. But may I digress? Raids. <clears throat> They made some improvements, but they also took 
a hundred steps back in some of the things that they've done. Let's go to the next little segment of this, and it's going to be subclasses. Oh. Now, subclasses. They're refined in Destiny 1. For example, do I have to use another, you know what, I'm not even, I'm not going to use the same thing, but I'm going to draw this up, give me like 30 seconds. Jesus. That was unexpected. We're fine. I'm not going to edit that out, because it's just, I'm too lazy and I don't want to do it. This is how the original subclasses were built. Three grenades, then you have the jump, then you had your actual abilities, then you had your melee. Then you had subclass specific abilities. I'm not flipping you off, I'm just saying. These are class specific abilities. And they were awesome. For example, I was a Night Stalker main in Destiny 1. But they took away one of the most vital parts of the Night Stalker. That was a shade step. And they took an entire shade step backwards in the subclass system. There's two nodes now. Because now, let's just kind of do this. There's the one, two, the dodge, or the... You know what, I'm going to draw it. I'm, sorry for my very crude drawing. I'm just doing this on the fly. But now, this is how the subclasses work. You have two abilities, like for example, Titans. Titans, you have your shields. Warlocks, you have your rifts. And Hunters, you have your dodges. You have grenades up here. You have grenades right there. Jumps right there. Then you have the one of two nodes. You took a step in the wrong direction. The original subclasses were fine. You could make specific builds that do specific things. And you can cater. You can cater your... You can cater... Your subclass to your playstyle. But now there's one of two playstyles. If you are passive or an aggressive, what if you're neutral? I don't think we want to be switching nodes every damn time we have to do something. Like for example, in the raid, say you're doing pleasure gardens. I say you need to switch the nodes. Just not. Nah. You do not want to switch the nodes because the nodes switching nodes is stupid. There's maybe one or two subclasses that's actually good in Destiny 2. That's Gunslinger for Hunters. That would also be Arc... What was it? Bolt... Okay. I don't remember. But the Arc subclass for the Warlocks... Stormcaller. 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 It was... And... I don't even call it by the original name anymore, but Captain America Shield. It's it's basically just the Sentinel Titan is just those are the only two good ones, and then one of them is the new one, Arc Strider. Oh my God, Arc Strider is so bad. Now it was like basically did Blade Dancer. There was very few Blade Dancers, but the people who did Blade Dancer knew what they were doing. Now, I was a gunslinger. I went from Night Stalker to Gunslinger back to Night Stalker in Destiny 1. I tried Night Stalker once in a PvE match, in PvP match, and it was terrible. Okay, it does not do what it used to do. It no longer has that shade step, and I... And I want to make this clear. I have not unlocked all of the subclasses yet. I only have a Warlock and a Hunter. I have not made a proper Titan yet. I made my Titan yesterday. I'm still grinding. I'm still grinding them, all, grinding them out so I can get those subclasses. But... If you disagree with anything I just said, please leave it in the comments because I'm not done. 
Please, but please, if you made it this far, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Shameless plug right now. I'm just shamelessly plugging. But, they should have exotics that, for example, instead of having a dodge, you have a shade step. That is what made Night Stalker a terror in PvP. Because they were so hard to get headshot snipes when you're dodging. It's very hard. You had to be extremely, extremely good at the game to do that. But now, with the dodges, there's either a ballerina twirl, which reloads. You just do a little ballerina twirl. Then there's the roll, which which resets your melee ability. And I'm not a melee spammer. I rarely ever do use my melee in the first place in PvP because I like to keep my I like to keep my engages at medium to far range. I love scout rifles. I just adore scout rifles, and I adore SMGs. SMGs will bail me out of any situation. I end up close range. Scout Rifles take your long range, and Gunslinger and Night Stalker complement that. Because Night Stalker and Destiny 1 had this little tracking that moved a teeny bit to the left or a teeny bit to the right just to hit the target. Gunslinger, same damn thing. You just go one, two, three. Everyone is dead. And by the way, my head is itchy, and I look like a clown. That's why I'm wearing the hat this video. But, Bungie, you're ruining the game. You can say this now, Bungie, if you don't start fixing things, you won't have a game anymore. You'll just have a money grab. That's it. You have a shameless money grab. That is dumb. Why? Why would you want to ruin a game just for money? They told us in Destiny 1 that they would remove the Eververse. <laughs> like that happened. Sorry about that interruption. I forgot what I was going to say. But I'm just going to say this here. Bungie. I'm going to reiterate this. Three things that... Destiny 2 ruined about Destiny 1. They ruined shaders, the raids, which I didn't know in illustrations for, and then the subclasses. I'm saying this now, Bungie. I know you're not listening, but you're making this game a shameless money grab. You told us in Destiny 1 that you would take away the Eververse, and guess what? It's not. It's still there. You told us then that there would be no Eververse. But then we go to Destiny 2, fast forward. Fast forward to Destiny 2, there's still Eververse. And, pardon my language, but Bungie, you need to get your shit together. Because if you continue down this road you will destiny 3 even if it comes out it's just gonna be ad central and to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if there was be being pop-up ads in the middle of the game pop-up ads and you have to pay to get the ads removed it's gonna become one of those phone games that just Makes this money off of advertisements. Now listen. Bungie. If you're listening. Please. Fix these. I already went off about shaders. And shaders. Weapons should be one time use. And armor should be permanent. You have this one little shader. In a shader slot. You just click it. And it's on all your armor. Just like Destiny 1. Raids. Guided games don't work. I'm sorry to say. I have yet to complete a raid and I've done it around 23 times. I've done it multiple times. We can't even get past the first damn part. It's because no one really knows what they're doing. That is because of that. 
there's two reasons why, and I didn't really go into this. There's only, I didn't really go into those reasons why it's bad, but I'm gonna go into this really quick before I end the video. It's this. No one knows what they're doing. There should be a tutorial about the raid. I would 100% be very pleased if you do a tutorial on the actual raid where it's not like, you know, like how to move, but no. What you're supposed to do, but don't give it away. Just like, hey, you're supposed to do this. Figure it out. This is your end goal. This is your start. This is your end. Figure out the middle. That would be very refreshing, funny, and to be honest. It would get old in a while, but anyways, you get my point. Destiny 2 has ruined Destiny 1. And I started playing Destiny 1 again, and I started reminiscing about how good it was. The last word, my, my baby, the last word. Still dominate the crucible. I'm not good at sniping. What I am good at is close range combat. In Destiny 1, it was all about close range. I had I had a sidearm and I had a sidearm and the last word. I was ready for all of my engagements. No matter what, I was always reloaded and ready to kill again. And ready to murder you and wipe you from a plane of existence. Now in Destiny 2, I just feel like I'm underpowered. I don't feel as not really special. I don't feel like I belong in there. That's like one of my little pet peeves. It's because you ruined a couple things that were amazing in the original game and I know I missed a couple points and please if you have any other points you want to make please make them in the description put them in the comments but anyways thank you guys so much for watching